Here follows a method how to create dynamic springs in SOLIDWORKS. We all like dynamic springs because it makes cool animations. First, create a new part within an assembly. Uh, create a part concentric to a hole and create the first line that has a fixed starting point. The end point should be adjusted to the moving part. Make it coincident to the edges and exit the sketch. Create a new sketch on a plane a bit to the side to the path and create dimensions if necessary. With these two sketches create a sweep, the profile, the path and under options select orientation twist along path and defined by turns. Don't make it too narrow. To adjust the end, make a cut using the starting plane and to finalize this end make a revolve starting from that surface. Just convert entities make a center line to, to revolve and make it 180 degrees and that is now finished it's not a perfect transition but it looks okay and also the same procedure at the end now we can use an internal plane or the surface on the other side just create a cut and make a revolve around that as well. And the part is ready to be used. Here is an assembly with some more springs into it. And if we move something you will see the spring be updated. It's not updated totally dynami dynamic, but as soon as you hit rebuild, the spring will be updated. And when making animations, it will be automatically rebuilt between each frame. In this case, I have made the spline and the surface to use this as a cam following. Instead of creating many parts, we can create one part that has different configurations. So in this case it's one single part and I created each spring as a separate folder and made a configuration of each. So it will have one single part that can ha have different geometrical solutions. So it's basically remodeling in each folder and suppress it. Have fun!